Hey guys, it's Howitzer here, and we are finally back in Skyrim. The health issues for me are in the past, feeling much better. We even have some upgrades we've done to the computer in the time off. I've got some more RAM that's currently on its way right now. And the reason I need more RAM is because I upgraded from a GTX 783 gig to a 1088 gig card, and now my eight gigs of RAM is kind of a bottleneck. So we've got more RAM coming for that. I haven't really upgraded anything with this Let's Play except for the ENB. It's still real vision, but it's the most current version with crash fixes and all the new fixes. Beyond that though, we're leaving this Let's Play how it is. I am still testing my immersion build, which I hope to bring out soon. That one you're going to see a lot better textures and you're going to see that 1080 in action. As far as this Let's Play, we are back here with Julian Rolaine. We are back in Elysium Estate. Let's go ahead and take a quick tour, walk around the house, and then we will get back in questing and see what we need to work on. So we're back here in the bedroom. It is morning time. We don't need to rest. I really didn't drop anything off here, so we're just going to get working on what we've done. So let's come out here in that Almost lighted down. area okay, where we can see. Down. Basically, Perfect. my gear is all the same. We'll do a quick walk through it. Uh, this is my mage set. Got our fur outdoor set. And then this is my in-town set that we're now using that mask that helps for speech. And then on top of that, we've actually... Muriel was wearing all of this death brand armor. And this death brand armor, it's amazing if you're dual-handed. But she was just shooting arrows. So I turned her to dual-handed. Gave her some nice enchanted swords. Uh, enchanted all of her gear and improved it. And then... Uh, Taj's gear was actually already good, but this sword needed an enchantment, an enchantment, so we put a fire enchant on that just to get a little more damage from that. And then downstairs, there's really nothing new. All the mannequins aren't equipping the armor with the old mannequin equip armor bug, so they're just standing around. I haven't put new armor on them anyway, so we're not going to go downstairs. We're just going to go ahead and get going. Um, our next quest is we're going to go take on Movar, the vampire outside of... Uh, Morthal and that's gonna be a tough fight with these two I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do I'll that with follow, us right. being on expert difficulty and revenge of the enemies and all that stuff so we're gonna head to the follower room which is cool because we haven't been there in a while and pick up I think we're gonna pick up a mage probably Devisha that way I'll have two tanks and then someone that can be a mage to back me up and maybe even pull out a summon or two oh just look at this the fresh air, Skyrim, it's awesome to be back. Got the horse and the corral here. Gosh, I never walk around back here. You know, I don't have I even gone in this? This is like our guest house. Let's take a look at it real quick. I don't think I have anyone staying in the guest house, but we'll check it out real quick. I can always put a couple followers here. Quite a few of them actually. So that's cool if the follower room starts getting a little over full. So enough messing around, let's just go get the horse and we are going to go over to the carriage and get a ride to Morthal. But actually first, uh, we're going to go to the follower room. Forgot about that. Got to go pick up Devisha. So let's go do that. Not too far off. At least we've got some good weather in Whiterun today. Don't have to break out the furs just yet. Vampires can be so tough in this, man. Uh, the Revenge of the Enemies mod is just ridiculous what it does with Master Vampires. And then when you add Asus bringing in the extra guys, we're going to have quite a fight ahead of us here. So we are definitely going to need the help here. And what's funny is I think I still have that little... Uh, what the heck are the little guys that were in Solstheim? I think I still have that little guy sitting outside guarding the room. Yeah, there he is. He doesn't go inside. I, he's kind of broken. He didn't count as a follower like when I had him and I had to dismiss him through console commands and whatnot. But after all that, he decided to just hang out here. I don't mind it. Reclean, that's what they are. How did I forget that name? It's been a while. All right, so let's get into the follower room. Oh, it's been a while since we've been in here. Oh, and there's Devisha right away. So let's just grab her because we want a pure mage. And I think she's my only pure mage in here. Devisha, follow me. The way. And then let me see if I got any gear for her or... I'm right behind you. I know right off I want to take away her uh, her bow and arrow. The The follower mod always what gives them bow and arrows. And then they'll use that sometimes over magic. 
So we're not going to give her a weapon. We're going to hope that she just does magic. And let's see here. I thought I had an extra cloak. Hmm. <laughs> I don't. I'm not wearing these. Necromancer, major destruction, because I'm wearing those other ones. Let's go ahead and uncheck that, and she doesn't even want to wear it. And it doesn't look like I have anything else for her right now. Yeah. That's fine. We'll pick up gear as we're running, because she's just mainly there for that. But I want to... Let's get going then. We're going to have to watch her because I've seen with mages in the past, they'll carry a, a weapon and start using the weapon. So I'm going to have to pay attention to her and make sure she's actually using magic. If not, I'll go in the follower mod and set her for that. I don't think I have... I mean, I can always make potions and stuff. I don't really need to worry about that though. I've got so many. So let's just go. We've done all of our improving, enchanting, and all of that good stuff. And then we'll take a shortcut here. Get down to the carriage and get going to Morthal. Let's go ahead and get our furs on for the ride. Need Yorlum! Yeah, I'd like to hire your carriage. Where do you want to go? I would like to go to Morthal. Let's see here. Uh, yeah, alphabetical. Back <laughs> and we'll And it is nighttime. How do we want to do with this? Let's see what time it is. It is 8.51. It's still early enough. Let's go talk to the uh, Jarl and then we'll get a night's rest. And there's the Jarl, still awake apparently. Hello. Tamriel is full of wisdom and magic, if one is willing to look for it. Few I understand have you have open. visions. I didn't even let her finish. <laughs> so, I understand you have visions. The divines reveal things to me at times, yes. I do not hide this. It is a gift. Anyone who believes otherwise does not and cannot understand it. Okay. Is there some kind of trouble here in Morthal? That which is unknown can create unease, even fear. It is to be expected. Some fear our new resident wizard. As they grow to know him, they will accept him. Yeah, people here are so off right. about magic. I guess with the whole winter hole thing, that can set that up, though. I hear you want someone to look into that house fire. Rogar's house fire? Well, he lost his wife and daughter in the blaze. My people believe it to be cursed now. Who am I to gainsay them? What's gainsay? <laughs> I've never heard that. What does Rogar say happened? Rogar blames his wife for spilling bear fat in the fire. Many folk think he set the fire himself. Why would he do that to his own family? Lust can make a man do the unthinkable. The ashes were still warm when he pledged himself to Alpha. So why haven't you arrested him then? On rumor and gossip? No. But you, a stranger, might find the truth for us. Sift through the ashes that others are too fearful to touch. See what they tell you. Should you prove him guilty or innocent, I, like I will reward well. you. Alright, that's kind of funny. Like, <laughs> they're just waiting for me to come along, I guess. Like, like forget taking care of your own problems. <laughs> so let's go get that... Where's his helmet? That's kind of weird. Where's your helmet? But they don't all... He's got a helmet. Huh. Oh, well. So let's see here. We've got to investigate the burn house. Let's go do that first, and then we'll get the night's rest. Whoa. Okay. Paj, go talk to the ghost. <laughs> Hello? Who's there? Is that you, father? Uh, no. Who are you? Help me. My father says I'm not supposed to talk to strangers. Are you a stranger? Uh, I'm Julian, so I guess I'm not a stranger. I am a friend. Do you know what happened to your house? The smoke woke me up. I was hot and I was scared. So I hid. 
Then it got cold and dark. I'm not scared anymore. But I'm lonely. Will you play with me? Uh, if I do, will you tell me who set the fire? Okay, let's play hide and seek. You find me, and I'll tell you. We have to wait for nighttime, though. The other one is playing too, and she can't come out until then. Other one? What other one? I can't tell you. She might hear me. She's so close. If you can find me first, I can tell you. Alright, that's strange. So I know it's already dark. I'm just gonna wait like an hour just to see. Probably freezing my butt off now. So let's go and check around here. Oh, we are hungry. Let's take care of that. Leg of goat roast. And then let's see where she is hiding. I mean, is she hiding around by the house or is she gonna be like in town? I'm right behind you. Where's this go? This goes. They say family is more fun than stuck in Denver. No matter what you do. This goes. Is there a path up here? There is, and there's candles up here. So I mean, there's got to be something. Why else would you have candles up here? We have the death bell. Let's go into sneak here. And I forgot. I want to make a quick change. Sorry about this. Um, the iHUD mod I have is is hiding my sneak meter so that I don't know if I'm in sneak. And I want that back. Yeah, there we go. Huh, nothing's up here. Make Layla go away. Make Layla go away? Where is Layla? I don't see her. I wonder, let's go and wait inside, just so, like, the stuff can reset out here and maybe Laylette will appear. So we'll go ahead, we'll just wait by the fire for an hour. And now let's go see if that did anything. As far as Laylette showing up. Whoa! It did. Alright. She's most likely a vampire, so I'm going to get my weapons out. And I don't like this fire wind spell because it just goes too far. I'm going to use that. And actually, wrong button. Hello? Okay, uh... You wanna talk? What's going on here, lady? Take her down, guys! That was pretty simple. I don't know what she was thinking there. Hey, four guys wearing awesome gear. I'm gonna attack them. <laughs> and... What about the little girl now? Nothing. You found me. Layla oh, okay. was trying to find me too, but I'm glad you found me first. Layla was told to burn mommy and me, but she didn't want to. She wanted to play right with behind me you. forever and ever. What happened? She kissed me on the neck, and I got so cold that the fire didn't even hurt. Huh? Oh, Layla so she didn't want to kill the kid, me. so she turned her or tried I to can't. turn her. I'm all burned up. And it didn't work. I'm tired. I'm gonna sleep for a while now. So let's go see what Thronair has to say now. She's dead. Laelet is dead. Uh, yeah. So what can you tell me about her? Laelet. I thought she left to join the Stormcloaks. Oh, my poor Laelet. Do you notice anything strange before she took off? She began to spend a lot of time with Alva. Yet just a week before, she despised her. And that wasn't a red that, flag. The night she disappeared, she was supposed to meet Alva. Even more Alva red flag. Told me later that she never showed up. I never got to tell her goodbye. I think they may have met after all, man. You 
think Alva? But that means... It's pretty obvious. Gods, you think Alva is a vampire? Who else could it be? No, you're wrong. You must be wrong. Leilet may have met her fate out in the marsh. I refuse to believe Alva had anything to do with this. There is no way you can prove it to the Jarl. I hope Alva is not what you think. Okay, so now we gotta investigate the house, but this guy lives there. And he's probably going there right now to sleep, so I'm saying we go get a night in the inn. And uh, we'll go over there during the daytime. Hopefully he's working during the day. So let's go ahead and Let get a room. I hear the steward asked you to look into the fire. Ooh. What can you tell me about Leila? Now there's a mystery. She ran away when the war started. Her husband Thonier was devastated. No nope or nothing. I'm pretty sure she up and joined the Stormcloaks. That's what he thought. So let's see. Can I get a room? Sure thing. It's yours for a day. And then I'm going to get some Drink for the thirsty, food, food and water for the here. She'll fill my water, and let's go ahead room. and right get way. that room. Let me know if there's anything. Let's grab breakfast. I'm sure, we've got some kind of. Let's take that stew. Need. Bit more water. That's fine. And let's see. Ten o'clock. You let's can resist wait me. like an hour and then let's head over there so once I get out here I'm gonna have my crew wait hey he's got a helmet on now come here guys so I need you I'm to right. wait you here go on ahead. wait I'm right here you. you go on ahead and wait here I'll keep watch from here and I'll go take care of this got any guards in the way and let's put this torch up oh come on there it is He's gone, so let's go do this. Or at least I don't see him here in the main room. We're gonna put Fire Blast on. And, because this is a vampire we're dealing with, let's get a Sun Flame ready. Yeah, let's go ahead and get a Sun Flame ready. Okay, she decides to get up, and she has, um, it looks like we don't have to talk to her. <laughs> Sunflame is just going to kick her butt. <laughs> I'm not sure if she was supposed to talk first. But that's alright. I don't want to hear what she has to say. Now we just need to find, what, the evidence? And there's a journal. That's got to be it. My life is dreary. Where is my prince to come rescue me? Where is my bold Nord warrior to sweep me off my feet? I met a man today picking night flowers. He's exciting and exotic. We kissed in the moonlight. It was romantic. I'm going to see him again tonight. Now I understand the true colors of the night. Movarth has shown me the true black of night and the true red of blood. He has promised me a feast of blood if I do his bidding in Morthal. Rogar was easy to seduce. Movarth said I should find a protector first, someone to watch over my coffin during the day. Rogar is perfect. Laylet came to visit me tonight. She slaked my thirst. I don't know what the heck slaked my thirst is, but uh, uh, I've hidden her away to let her rise as my handmaiden. I've spread the rumor in the town that she left to join the war. Fools. Movarth has confided in his grand plan to me. I am to seduce the guardsmen one at a time and make them my slaves. Then he and the others in the coven can descend upon the town and make the entire town theirs. They won't kill them, they're just going to become cattle. An endless supply of blood and the entire town to protect us from the cursed sun. So Horogar's family is becoming inconvenient. She told Leilet to kill them all. 
but make it look like an accident. Rogar must uh, be seen as an innocent if he's going to be her protector, but then they let burn the family alive. Wow. I asked for an ancient or an accident and they got a scandal. Matters are worse. Uh, so that messed everything up. Something is wrong. She's talking about Helgi. There's a stranger in town looking into the fire, which is me. So let's just go ahead and take care of that. Sorry, I just kind of jumped through that. A lot of that's not needed for the whole full story there. So let's get out of here. We're not going to take anything from Horogar in here. Let's see if he's out here. As I'm sneaky sneaky with my uh, Atronach. Okay, so let's run and talk to the Jarl. And see where we go from here. Hopefully the Atronach doesn't cause any issue here. Hello. Is Hrogar innocent or not? Uh, yeah, Alva set the fire. She's the murderer. Alva? Huh, didn't think she had it in her. <laughs> Actually, she's a vampire and she planned to take this whole town down. I assume you have proof? Can't go making accusations like that without proof. Take a look at her journal. So it's true. A traitorous bitch. Morthal owes you Ooh, a gift. language. Here, you were promised a reward for solving the crime. I need one more favor from you. Morthal is still in danger. The journal mentions Movar, a master vampire I thought was destroyed a century ago. A century I'll ago? I'll gather together some able-bodied warriors to clean out Movar's lair. Yeah, I don't want your warriors. You to lead them. They're gonna get in the way. But here next time. So let's go take care of this. These are the warriors? Like, how about the guards? I mean, isn't that the yeah. guard's job to do this stuff? I mean, that's kind of silly to have, like, lady in dress and orc in clothing. I mean, at least he's got some gear. Wow. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to send them in first. Oh, that, then they'd just get turned, and then I'd have more vampires to fight. Mount up, guys. What the heck? Hey. Oh, duh. We heading out? Let's get going. Okay. Ready to get Why aren't they coming with? Going. That's because I told them Whenever to wait. I will walk and they're following orders you. like good followers. And let's put our furs on. Because it is cold around here even during the day. And let's get going. I can pull up the map, but I know where Movarth is. It's kind of silly. I mean, he's like 10 feet away outside of the gates. So just send your five guards over there to kill him like a hundred years ago to check this place out and make sure no one's in there especially if you have a, stuff happening in town because look at this there's there's even these pillars that tell you when you're out running running around skyrim these pillars tell you something is afoot like there's a cave or something sure. you need to investigate there's like nine pillars leading you down this trail so it's basically big neon sign saying bad guy bad guy bad guy <laughs> look out for bad guy look Cave. That's fine though. Fine place to find they would have gotten slaughtered if they would have tried to take on this bad guy. Oh, let's this put our gear on. Dangerous. And uh, let's talk to Throne. I'm just a poor man trying to make a living. I'd leave Mortal were it in my power. Thought he was gonna be singing Bohemian Rhapsody for a second there. He's just a poor boy from a poor family. <laughs> <laughs> I have to go into the vampire lair alone. I don't want you with me, man. They may be cowards, but I'm not. I'll go with you. Hey, that's cool. I get it. You're brave. They mess with your family. Let me take care of it. That's what I do. I suppose you're right. I'm not a fighting man. Go and avenge my lay left for me. Until next time. Alright guys, that's what we are gonna do. So I've got we my three followers. Let's head inside. Where'd she go? I just saw some, like the other follower appeared above me and disappeared. So let me summon her. She probably got put into a different room here. Because I definitely need her. With her dual handing. So let's get... Man, this is gonna be... Tough. Vampires are just a nightmare. And let's get a sun flame ready. 
I love these Sunflame Atronox. They are amazing. So what do we got here? We've got spiders. Whoa. Stay down there, spiders. And we've got vampires. Get the vampire. Get the vampire. Don't worry about the spiders. The vampires take precedent here. And that's why she is throwing modded spells and I am falling. I'm falling to my death. Let me get back up to a place of safety here. Nice! I am... You guys don't even know how lucky I am that Hodge just took her out. If, with that spell, she could have wiped us all out. <laughs> because on my time off, I actually tested some of this lair with some of the mod updates I did. When it, Well, not the mod updates, but after I put in the new E and B and everything, I wanted to test it. I came in here, and that vampire slaughtered us with that spell. Wow! Wow, wow. Okay, she's appearing right in front of me. Appear in front of that. Holy cow. That was like two vampires there that just leveled my three followers. And they're all boosted up. Okay, so we're gonna have to push a little farther into this place. Come on, guys. Let's go up here. Nice and dark, just how they like it. Whoa. Okay. Is there anything down here? No, well, I'm getting out of here before they start dropping out of that room. And let's head through here. What the heck is that? Oh, they've already gone through and fought someone. Anyone in here? <laughs> Bunch of dead bodies. Anybody got money on them? No. We got a potion. Clothing everywhere. What are they doing with their clothes? So let's see what we've got. Oh, shoot! Is that it? Flesh spell back up. And let's get ready for another sun flame in case it's needed. Oh shoot, that's the room. That's him. Okay guys, we need to get ready for this. There we go. What we need to take care of in here. Wrong way. And I'm gonna have to have the sun flame ready to go. Is that Mobarth? Someone stop this fool sorcerer before some Oh shoot, get in here! Get in here! I can't even tell who to Great, that another ice wind vampire. Out! Oh, come on. Okay, we need some potions quick. Let's go resist cold fire, health, and extreme healing. 
Whoa, that's Mobart. Okay, that's not, but that's somebody else that can kill me. Oh, we're so screwed. We are so screwed. Let me <laughs> let me summon my followers and then pop an Atronach. Wow, I don't even know where my followers are. They're probably on the ground. You puny weak. Seriously? Get away from me, dude. Oh, that ice wind, man. I, we've got to take her out. Holy. Holy. Are you kidding me? Yeah. Uh, no, wrong one. Wrong one. We're going to put an Alone Knight out there. Go take care of business, man. Get that ice wind person and take him out. Holy cow. It's like unfair. They'll just have magic to no end. So let's see. Let's, uh, I need to find healing hands. I know I have the spell, but I don't have it. Yeah, let's go ahead and favorite it. Yeah, we're done. We're done. Dang it. Okay guys, so off camera, I have died the last like 10 times. <laughs> so yeah, I'm just going to have to be way more aggressive with this. We're definitely going to be using this lava spell primarily in here. Get in there. There it is. All right, let's take some magic. Morvarth's dead, but if I don't get these uh, stupid ice casters killed, then I'm out of luck. Dang it! Dive! Come on! Alright, now let's put the alone aim back out. Magic, come on. One over there, and one over there. Everybody here. Get up here, guys. I need everybody close by for this. Whew. Yeah, like I said, I just died like 15 times off camera. Literally spent the last hour making this fight. So we're not even going to worry about looting this yet. Let's go make sure we've got people on both sides here. Let's go clear out these rooms out. I'd say you're either brave or stupid sometimes. But I can already tell you Whoa, whoa. Move, I'm dying. Accidentally swat gear. Wow, how strong are these night vampires? I'll kill you if you stand. Come on, Miriel, kill her. You got your two swords, you're awesome. I'm right behind you. Go, 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 go. 
Oh, nice. Oops. Let me give some uh, heals to her real quick. I think I got healing hand. No, I don't. Because I died. So that's not still equipped. Dang it. <laughs> Keep hotkeying stuff when I don't mean to hotkey it. So let's take a look around now. I don't think we're empty in here though. Don't have to worry about this room. There's really nothing to loot in here. So let's go ahead and loot these guys on the way through the room. Man, look at all the damage in here. It's just ridiculous what they do with that ice wave spell or whatever the heck it is. Ice wind. Cloak. Dust. Take that. Dust. Where's Movarth? Where did he die? That's the guy I need to find. Where's his body? Shaman like boots, coin purse, coin. What a waste of time. So where would Mobarth be? I killed him out here. I know he was out here when he died. No. Okay. Look out, guys. One man's trash is another's treasure. I like to think I've aged well. There he is. I'm like, I want to loot him. Summon Death Guard. Was he using that on me? So let's go down here and clear this area. Got some beds. Looks like this is where he was staying. There's his boots. I'm going to take those. Skill book. Nice. And he's got a foot fetish, so he collects boots. Okay. This is going to be dropping us right back out here. Yep. So let's go check the right side, and there could be vampires in here. Still. Yeah, there is. There is. Get up in there. Let's go ahead and conjure something. Da, 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 da. How about a blue flame? Behind us? Holy cow. made him drop his axe. That's awesome. Don't need the book. It's in the chest. A little bit of gold. we got up here we've got coin purse dwarven arrows some crates of nothing so let's go check through here and then we still have the top area to check through and that's it man again I did not think we we're gonna be able to clear this I thought I had to go get two more followers Movarth with this one hit lightning and then those two ice wind spells Whew. Okay, so here's the last room to check. Although this might even just be an exit. Nope, it's just a room. Boss chest, let's do that last. So let's go ahead and grab this. Grab some, ooh, 
we've already done we don't need to make any potions we've already taken care of that off camera so let's do our boss chest looting so again I, I, I I'm not supposed to have this much stuff in here I actually have a mod that makes everything scarce so that that's why when we loot stuff we get like three coins and nothing else and I actually lightened up that mod to be not as scarce but it doesn't seem like it's taking effect but the boss chests are still broken so we're just gonna go through and pick a couple things usually gold and then a couple items that I think I can use in a fair a fairness not just taking everything so I'm gonna take the witch blade gauntlets the spells I don't need I don't think I need any of these if there was one for magic I'd give it to my mage otherwise this one didn't have much in it I mean it was all kind of lower level stuff Daedric Buckler huh yeah I'm just gonna take a couple things to sell then and let's see yeah let's get out of here I'd say you're either brave or stupid but I can already tell it looks like we are done so we have taken care of Movarth we're actually gonna call this an episode right here I'm not even sure what time it is because I've got to cut out like 15 times in a row I died like I said back there but you guys won't have to see all that you'll just see me finally taking him down thank God we had lava wave and some of those tougher like colorful magic type spells because when the bad guys start using those spells we're in trouble because they just they never run out of magic it's ridiculous but if you guys have any questions or comments let me know down below otherwise guys I just want to say it is so good to finally be back expect more Skyrim let's plays from Julian Rolaine I am still working on my immersion build I've pretty much got that done I'm just waiting for that RAM to come in the mail in the next week and then we'll get the immersion build going and that might be streamed I might be doing some live streaming I've also got a webcam, so we'll probably be seeing some face cam and some other things coming up here soon. So lots to look forward to. I do plan on getting back to the Sci-Fi Explained channel for anyone that's watching the Godzilla Alien stuff on that channel as well. So everything should be getting back to normal here. Thanks for watching, guys. Take care. Have a good one. And I hope to see you next time.